So, um, uh, discriminant modeling. As I already said, in discriminant modeling, uh, the whole idea is to map whatever is happening in the real world into a process. A sequence of uh, operations that are performed over entities. Uh, entities can be different things like uh, clients, uh, patients, products, uh, packets in, um, let's say, uh, a, a network, even ideas of projects, um, really, really uh, very diverse things. Operations are, uh, let's say, delay, and it is are delayed here. Uh, they, whenever you have delays and you have limited capacities, uh, queues inevitably appear in your system. So the whole discriminant modeling is actually about delays and queues and various uh, service uh, policies and bottlenecks, etc. So delays, queues, uh, resources, and also the logic of the flowcharts, like uh, choosing, uh, choosing the branch, uh, etc. Uh, are the, the, main, uh, the main things, uh, the main components of discriminant modeling. Like in this particular example, and uh, this is something I, I'm going to build quickly, um, we have, uh, this is a model of a bank. Clients arrive, and this is the source, the arrival block. Uh, some people in the bank go to the uh, ATM, which is located in there. So this is decision block, and people go to ATM. There's only one ATM, ATM usage takes certain time, and because of that, you may have a queue in front of the ATM. Delay is the model of the ATM usage and the queue. Uh, others uh, go to see tellers, and uh, their potential can be more than one teller, so these are resources in our model. And this is the service block, uh, because again, potentially may have more customers in there than tellers. A queue may, be, uh, uh, may appear before the tellers. So again, delay queue and the capacity of this, let's say, delay block is controlled by the number of tellers. Resource, delay, and queue. Uh, people who have used the ATM may also need to see the tellers, so there's this part of the flow. Otherwise, people just walk out of the bank. It's a very, very simple process, and uh, we're going to build it in, um, in any logic. Well, optimization is, again, uh, a new model. Mm. Bank. Uh, again, we have an empty canvas, and, I and this time I will use not the uh, general system dynamics, I will use enterprise library. Source, um, this is where our clients coming into the bank are generated. Um, then directly after source, I think we had uh, select output block. People decide where to go to use the ADM or to uh, go to the tellers. The ADM is a delay block, so uh, I will call it use ATM. And uh, there will be a queue. to ATM before the delay block. Um, decision is go to tellers and uh, people we go to tellers with let's say okay let's say with the default probability 50% Okay, tellers. Tellers are resources. So we have a resource pool here. Tellers.
And uh, let's say there are two tellers in, in the bank. Uh, service block means that entities are uh, can only proceed through after using an available teller. So yeah, let's just leave, let's leave the name service. And then the last block is sync. Sync deletes entities out of the model. Oh, sorry. We had another select output. The probability of a person who has used the ATM to go away or to uh, join the teller uh, queues to the tellers. So uh, I'll call it need to see teller. Otherwise, exit. Sync, I'll rename it. Uh, oops. Exit bank. Uh, well, the structure is in place. Mm, all objects here have some default parameters. For example, the source will generate on average uh, one customer per m what's the time unit in this model it's minutes so one customer per minute the ATM usage time is triangular from half minutes with mode 1 to 1 1.5 uh, I don't think this is realistic uh, I think we have let's say uh, yeah probably the minimum we can leave minimum as half minutes, but the maximum usage time, let's make it uh, four minutes. Um, with the teller, same thing. Probably the shortest operation takes up two minutes. The uh, typical five minutes, but the longest operation as, as long as 20 minutes. And so what, what is this? This is triangular probability distribution. Uh, AnyLogic supports over 35 probability distributions and uh, uh, so you can type here instead, uh, for example, uniform or uh, exponential uh, or Weibull, etc. So a lot of different distributions are uh, supported in any logic. But I'll, I'll work with triangular. Um, okay, uh, let's run this model. Okay, so one guy is using ADM, one is standing here in the queue. Uh, tellers are fully uh, <coughs> utilized. And what is this? Is this a break? For the students. Huh? For, the For the students. Okay, so uh, our, our break is later, like 10 minutes, ten minutes. that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after uh, 181 minutes, uh, the uh, model signaled an error because there's queue overflow. Um, it's 100, 100 people in this queue, and this queue is empty. So uh, the model is not capable of, um, uh, sorry, the, the system is not capable of serving that, um, uh, that kind of rate of incoming clients. So uh, a typical experiment with this kind of model would be to uh, vary the, uh, uh, the number of tellers. And for that you can bring a slider here and you can link the slider with tellers 
Oh, sorry. Capacity from, let's say, 1 to 20. Uh, so, as you can see, controls and later on we'll show animation are also mm, part of any logic and you can bring sliders and also mm, all kind of shapes uh, to the canvas and, they, uh, and make them uh, dynamic. So, um, <coughs> Uh, the capacity is 2, and uh, the Q starts to build up. Now there are 14 tellers, and the system uh, performs well. So it's kind of manual optimization of the system with me uh, using the slider to control the number of tellers and looking at, at, at the queue. Uh, just uh, one small bit is to... Uh, one way of defining uh, animations of your models. Let's say I want to see the tellers queue. What I'll do, I'll uh, go to the presentation and draw a polyline. And I'll supply that polyline as the uh, animation guide shape for the queue here. And I'll also say that my uh, clients are animated with person picture. Entity animation shape is person. Okay. So you know that uh, Q will inevitably grow under the Okay. Um, so that was a uh, just a little bit of discriminant modeling with simple 2D uh, animation in uh, any logic. Question? Yeah. 